Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. Because we are celebrating Easter, I think I will tell you the story rather than read it. Let's go back to Thursday, Monday, Thursday. Jesus gathered with his 12 disciples to have dinner. And during dinner, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and gave it for everybody to eat. He took the cup that had wine in it and blessed it and gave it for everyone to drink. And you and I do this today in our church. We call it Holy Communion. This was Jesus' last supper. And after supper he went out to Gethsemane to pray I don't have a picture of that here and he asked God to give him the courage to face what would happen because the next day was the saddest day in the history of the world on that day which we call Good Friday Jesus was crucified. The Roman government thought wrongly that Jesus was a revolutionary and they crucified him. It shows how human evil can get so bad that even the Son of God is mistreated cruelly. Crucified means hung on a cross and Jesus died and everyone was extremely sad. But now comes the good news. This is a painting by the famous artist El Greco that says in the middle of the night Jesus rose from the dead and he scared all of the soldiers who were guarding the tomb. God raised him from the dead in triumph, no matter how strong human evil gets in putting the Son of God to death, God will triumph over it with resurrection. So you can imagine then the next morning, Easter Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb in order to add spices to the dead body of Jesus, and you know what? The tomb is empty. And after Mary Magdalene, who's crying because she can't find the body of the dead Jesus, suddenly Jesus appears to her, and she's so grateful, but Jesus says, don't touch me yet, uh, and, and then Mary is very happy. Here's another painting of the resurrection, and this one is by Peter Paul Rubens. Now, take a look at this icon. An icon is a painting in an Orthodox church. And note how Jesus in the center has risen on Easter, and his hands are down. And who are those two people coming out of their tombs? That's Adam and Eve. And by Adam and Eve, we mean you and me. Because God raised Jesus from the dead on the first Easter, God plans to raise you and me on the last day. So when we're ready to die... We can have confidence that God will raise us just like he did Easter. That's the Easter story. Young folks, old folks, 
Everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids.